Right, hello guys, you're watching Go Doctor Who and Jodie Whittaker's leaving, what? What? Okay, I'm gonna give you my thoughts and opinions on this and I'm gonna get it straight off the bat. I'm, I'm happy she's leaving, I feel like it's the right time, but also I'm a bit sad because I've always wanted a Doctor to regenerate in the 60th. Her fight one last battle, maybe have a few Doctors there, but she's the reason why the day is saved and then she regenerates, celebrating the past, but looking forward to the future with a new Doctor. I think that's the best way to do a 60th, and we're not going to get that now, which is really annoying, because I've always wanted a Doctor to go in a 60th time. But anyway, I feel like this is the best place for Jodie, because it feels, although Dave Tennant era, it was my era, and I grew up with it, so I weren't that sure. I've always had a, I've always had Dave Tennant as my Doctor. Matt Smith era, it went quite quick. Peak Powdy's era went quite quick. Jodie's Whitt Whittaker's era, we're in the third series, it tends to be the rule of going out every three series, and it feels like it's gone on forever. Really? I don't know. Maybe that's because we were in a pandemic, it made it go longer, but it felt like. But yeah, um, series 11 was a stinker. It was only three good episodes, in my opinion, throughout that series. Series 12 was really good, and I don't care what people say. I mean, if you're a hater of Jodie Whittaker's era, I think Series 12 was a standout. I'm very optimistic about how Series 13 is going to go now because I thought this timeless child art would get introduced in Series 13 a bit more, but we'd delve into it with Series 14 and then we'd get the 60th and it will wrap up. We're not doing that now. We're doing all the plot in what in one series and we've only got like six to nine episodes to wrap everything up, really. I'm very optimistic. I, I don't know how to feel because I want this. Uh, I want the Times Child art. Now we're into it. We might as well complete it and do it well. I don't know whether we're gonna have time to do it well. But I'm uh, yeah. We're gonna give a go, give it go. Uh, I'm excited for series thirteen. I'm nervous. I hope it does well. I tend to love uh, every Doctor's last series the best. Series seven is actually my favorite Matt Smith. Series ten is my favorite. Peak Powdy and Series 4 is my favourite, David Tennant. Uh, Jodie's could possibly be Series 13. It could, hopefully, it continues the trend. But yeah, I, I'm happy Jodie's leaving, but I feel like she should be leaving in Series uh, in the 60th. But I, I, I think she's done well for what she's worth. And I may do a video on did, was the, the, the first female Doctor a success? I know the Roof Doctor was the first Doctor, but we're going to get on to something like, was Jodie Whittaker a uh, Doctor a success in the future video? I think that's the best bet to go. Um, but yeah, it's sad times. I'm happy Chris Chimnall's leaving, though. I'm, I'm sorry, mate. I really enjoy you, some stuff you do. You're really good at classic villains. The Master, the Cybermen, the Daleks, you're doing blasts. You're, you're smashing it out of the park with the classic stuff. The new villains you can't write for Toffee. <laughs> so yeah there's that and your, your writing's kind of black uh, safe you're like jody will explain something and go we're gonna go around here when we're gonna do that when we're gonna do that and then we're gonna do that and then we actually see them do exactly what they planned shake it up a bit make it more interesting i know you stop dumbing the audience down and thinking you need to explain stuff so i'm happy chris chibnall is leaving because i think we need a more challenging writer if that's that's my that's my opinion on that. So yeah, that's my thoughts and opinions, guys. I'm happy Chris Chibnall's leaving. I'm kind of happy Jodie's leaving. I feel like it's her time, but also I feel like I wanted her in the 60th, and now we're not going to get that. And is the 60th safe? Are we going to get a 60th anniversary? If we're getting a new Doctor, do we really want to add loads of other Doctors in the mix? That is something. Is the 60th going to be a thing now? And I hope to God it is, but I'm a bit sceptical now. Jodie's leaving a, a year before the, the 60th. And then she's, if she is a 60th, she's going to be brought back anyway, because they're not going to not have her in the 60th, are they? So she's going to be back anyway, for one episode at least. Um, Yeah, my thoughts and opinions is I'm happy Christian was leaving. I'm a bit like that with Jodie. The, uh, Yaz needs to go. She's been long enough now. Hopefully they really delve into her character a lot more with the police stuff and the family and all that. Uh, I'm really excited for... Um, Dan. Dan looks very interesting. So yeah, he was only meant to be one series anyway. So yeah, we're excited. I hope we're getting a clean slate though when uh, when the new Doctor arrives and they keep kind of keep it a secret. Come on, Jodie Comer. You can be the next Doctor. I believe in you. Or Michael Sheen. 
let's do it. But yeah, that's my thoughts and opinions, guys. Let me know yours down below. Give the video a thumbs up. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We're trying to get to 600 subscribers before the end of the year. Come on. Also, Saturday, me and my friend, before this video was even announced, before today, me and my friend filmed the good and bad of Jodie Whittaker's era. And we've kind of done this video before uh, this whole announcement, which is weird. But yeah, interesting. So stay tuned for Saturday for me and my friend talking about the good and bad of Jodie Whittaker's era. Interesting. See you guys next time.